All right, so I just came back from holiday. Um, as you can hear from my voice, I got a little sick during that time and I'm still not 100% better, but I really wanted to make a video this week to talk about something pretty interesting I did. I, of course, spent time with family and friends, but I also took some time to write code, um, to work on a hobby project of mine. And I did something pretty interesting. I, um, I decided to refactor the code base uh, quite significantly, and I introduced a command bus to it. And what happened is that, as you might have seen from the thumbnail, um, I got five times as much code without any functionality changing. So why did I do that? So today I want to talk about command buses and, and give you five reasons why they are so awesome to use. Maybe not in all projects, but uh, there definitely are quite a lot of use cases for them and I, I'm really in love with them. So maybe let me quickly explain what a command bus is, right? With a command bus, you model your application flow, the, like the logic, through commands and handlers. And the idea is that there's a bus in between, a class, a service, something that takes a command, which is basically a, an object with data, doesn't do anything. It's just, hey, I want to do something. It shows intent, right? It takes that command and it passes it to the handler. So basically, you're splitting data and functionality. And why is that useful, right? Um, so I this, this hobby project of mine, it's, it's a little game. If you've been following this channel for a while, uh, you know I've been experimenting with Livewire to make some games. And this game is actually something I, I really enjoy working on. And I play it myself and a couple of my friends play it. It's a kind of dungeon crawler, deck building, card collecting game. Uh, but the thing is, there is some business logic involved in that game, right? It's not super complex, but there are quite a lot of things happening all over the scene. And I find that it has quite a lot of similarities to like real life applications, if I can call them that. You, you probably know what kind of projects I'm talking about, right? Not the, the, the simple blogs or portfolio websites, but like the bigger things where data is flowing through the application and lots of things are happening all over the place. And so I found um, this, this hobby project of mine, this game, to be an interesting like exercise to try out that command bus. So what I used to have was just a, a big class with lots of functionality and child classes. There was this board class and it had tiles and entities like enemies and cards and stuff. And, and all these objects had methods to like represent the game logic. Enemies could move around and um, tiles could be generated. And um, whenever you step on a tile, there's there might be an effect that comes into play. When you play a card, uh, some things need to happen. Lots of things happening all over the scene. Pretty similar, right, to real life applications. And I, I decided to refactor it to a command bus. And what happened, the first thing that I noticed is that refactoring to command objects with separate handlers, it really represented the world much better than when I had nested objects with functionality um, nested deeply within them. Using commands and handlers makes it so that you're forced to split the data and, and the intent of what you want to do from the actual implementation. The second benefit that I notice is that a command bus leads to a pretty like flat structure of your code. There are commands and handlers and there aren't like many layers or, or nested relations between objects. Commands are plain objects. They really don't have any functionality in them and handlers are classes with methods. And that flat structure makes it much more easier to, to know what's going on, especially if you have a project like mine, uh, where there are lots of things going on all over the scene. And it gets very difficult to understand the flow of your project if you're dealing with like these nested, deeply nested objects. A third benefit is that indirectness leads to flexibility. By introducing a command bus, right, the, the thing that's in the middle that, that takes a command and passes it to a handler, it, it causes some indirectness. From the calling side of your code, you're not really in control anymore about what's 
going on with the handling side and you need to deal with that. You can't just simply return from a handler anymore because the command bus is in the way. But the benefit there is that because the command bus is in the way, uh, you get a, a central place where you can add, for example, middleware, where you can add logging and database transactions or database logging and stuff like that. Things that aren't really part of the core business logic, but they're part of like the shell, the, the, the technical uh, support. Yeah, a command bus makes that super trivial. And it's a really nice way to have very clean code with commands and handlers. And there's just middleware in between. And you don't have to worry about uh, what the middleware is doing when you're working with your handlers and your commands. The fourth benefit is something that I haven't used in this project yet, but it's something that is a pretty clear advantage of command buses. Um, it is that commands being simple objects can be very easily serialized, right? They are just data. They are represented with PHP code, but they could as well be represented with JSON or XML or whatever. And that makes it so that commands can easily be sent over the wire to another service, right? Your command handlers, they don't have to live in the same code base as your commands. Think about it. A command handler could be an HTTP endpoint somewhere else. It could be a microservice that you're communicating with whatever protocol you want. And so by using commands, you already have this flexibility built in, in case you would need it. And finally, the biggest advantage for me is that commands are so easy to test. Really, they are, they are super convenient. And actually, when I created my pull request here with 5,000 added lines and only 900 removed, it might seem like, wow, that's, that's so much overhead for essentially doing the same thing. But that's actually not true. Because when I introduced a command bus, I also started to write proper tests. It was super difficult to test all of this stuff because everything was connected to each other and you really had to do quite a lot of setup to, to test one specific thing. It was super difficult to do proper unit tests in isolation. And, and all of those problems went away. So I started writing tests and more tests and they gave me so much more uh, confidence that my code was actually working the way I intended to without all the overhead that came from my previous design. And for me, that, that's by far the biggest advantage of, of switching to a command bus. So yeah, it was a real fun experiment and I made the right decision for this app. And I, I firmly believe that there are lots of other applications, projects that would benefit from uh, this kind of approach, right? It's not for everything. Like I said, if you're building a simple blog or CRUD application, uh, you, you don't need a command bus. But if you think carefully about your project, uh, you might actually find quite a lot of use cases for it. So yeah, those were my holidays. I wanted to share that experience with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe. You know what to do and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.